After a brew day, you have a lot of spent grains lying around, and I wanted to find another way to give them a second life. What goes better with beer than pizza? How about making a pizza crust from beer grains? With just a few additional ingredients you probably have at home, you can transform these spent grains into a delicious, flavorful pizza dough. Here's what you'll need. Spent grains. The fresher, the better. But you can keep the grains in a sealed container in your fridge for a few days. And you want to use wet grains to help with the overall moisture of the dough. You also need water, flour, any kind you like, olive oil, maple syrup or sugar, salt, either sea salt or kosher works great, and baker's yeast. One packet or about eight grams. First up, we need to get the yeast working. For that, pour in a half cup of warm water to a bowl. Then add in the yeast, and a splash of maple syrup or sugar to help feed the yeast and give a bit of sweetness to the dough. Whisk that and allow the yeast to activate for about five to 10 minutes. Once you see good activity, add in 3 fourths cup of wet grains, then one and a half cups of flour. It helps to add it a little bit at a time as you mix, and using a spatula also helps to mix. Next, add in a teaspoon of salt and keep mixing. Lastly, add in a bit of olive oil. I used about a half tablespoon here. Eventually, the spatula won't work very well, so go ahead and get your hands in there and knead it on a lightly floured surface until it's smooth. Then toss into a bowl with some oil and cover it with a damp cloth. Give it about one hour to rest until the dough doubles in size. I like to rest my dough in a warm area to help it move along faster. I found that turning the oven light on and setting the bowl in there with no heat on, it keeps it at the perfect, slightly warm temperature. What do you do with your spent grains? If you have a recipe for using spent beer grains, let me know in the comments, or share your recipe over on the Discord. After an hour, take out the dough and punch it down. This releases some of the gas. Then let it rest again for a half hour on the counter. While it rests, let's preheat the oven to 500 degrees. Once it's heated, we can now assemble the pizza. Start by pressing the dough out into a cast iron pan or sheet pan. Leave it a little bit thicker on the crust if you want. Then start adding on your toppings. And this is totally up to what kind you want. You can go traditional with tomato sauce, or you can get crazy with it and do a barbecue cauliflower pizza like I'm doing today. Just add a layer of barbecue sauce, some spiced and roasted cauliflower, peppers, onions, mushrooms, and jalapeno slices. Now just toss it in the oven and set the timer for 20 minutes. And finally, after 20 long minutes, your delicious pizza is ready. <laughs> this dough is really great. It has so much more character and depth of flavor than a regular pizza dough. There's also a nice texture and toothsomeness that makes the crust more of a star than just a plain background to the toppings. It's definitely more rustic and gives off that homemade feeling. Seriously, the best pairing to any beer and super easy to whip together. While it doesn't use a ton of grains, this recipe does find a way to use an otherwise wasted product from the brew day. So if you want it, you can always make a bigger batch and freeze dough for later. You have to try this recipe out. And if you do, let me know on Instagram at The Brew Show. Thanks for watching and happy pizza making.